Hi, my name is Christopher. In this video, I would like to discuss the varying readouts of curing light radiometers using the Bonnar L5 LED curing light. Light radiometers can be a helpful tool in determining the suitability of a particular curing light and its optimum curing times. But unfortunately, there is a well-documented discrepancy between how individual radiometers measure output intensity and usability, and this can lead to both confusion and improper curing times. With that in mind, let's take a look at how our three radiometers measure the output of the Art L5 LED curing light. We'll start with the Curite visible curing light meter from Densply. We have a power measurement of 1900 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Next, we'll test the LED radiometer from Demetron. As you can see, we have a power reading discrepancy of around 1,000 milliwatts per centimeter squared. While a reading of 800 is considered high output by this particular radiometer, it is a drastically different reading than what is provided by either the Mark system or the dense supply unit. Finally, we will compare these with the art meter from Bonart. At 1600, this reading is closer to the dense fly measurement, which in turn is close to the mark readings given by Gordon Christensen. From this demonstration, we can see that measuring output on a radiometer is as much reliant on understanding the biases of the particular radiometer as it is the intensity of the curing light itself. While any drastic change in output readings over time could be a sign of light failure or degradation, it is important to understand and account for the inherent failings in current day radiometers and to adjust expectations and readings accordingly. Please feel free to contact a Bonnard Medical Technology representative if you have any questions. Thank you.